Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends is a series that is totally timeless and is held in such a high regard by its fans because of how realistic it once was. This is why kids are drawn to it, why it stood the test of time for over 70 years, why it stood out from its competition of every other high-energy kids' cartoons, and why so many of us still like it all these years after childhood. It was the real-world universe these characters lived in, and the way they were written as actual, real machines that needed people to operate them. The stories inspired by real events that happened in the real world are the ones we all remember the most. An engine running off the turntable into a ditch doesn't seem outlandish because it actually happened. An engine and a steamroller facing off and causing a collision didn't seem unrealistic because it actually happened. An engine nearly running off a cliff. An engine falling into a mine shaft. An engine crashing through a station wall. An engine trekking through a flooded track. Engines being put onto scrap lines. All of it actually happened. Thomas absolutely took place in the real world with real life consequences. Sodor seemed like a real place in the world that we could go and visit. The fact the trains could talk was the single oddity of this world. That is undeniably the draw of the original show and the books it was based on. Then comes along this movie that tells us that the engines are alive because of some magic engine living in a different dimension that gives them all life. And Sodor is some magical land in a bubble separate from the real world that you can only get to using gold dust. And how the engines all can just now drive themselves and don't actually need people to operate them. And people can be put in the craziest of scenarios and not get hurt. And how apparently animals and plants have the ability to talk too. That connection, that draw, that suspension of disbelief is now broken. Now nothing matters, because everything is just all magic. Nothing has to make sense now. Things can just happen with no real-world explanation, because magic. This movie breaks every rule of the established universe prior to this, and it's so baffling because it was made by the same exact people who produced the original show in the first place. The general perception of Thomas was totally different after this movie. People just looked at Thomas as that silly kids show with the trains that talk because magic. Oh yeah, that's the show where the trains have faces, and there's like a magic train and an evil diesel train with a giant claw. This overall general misconstrued perception is what doomed the series. 